Good afternoon and welcome to the International Code Council's online digital library review. ICC understands the unique challenges that we're facing today with remote work becoming a necessary aspect for many. Digital tools allow for distributed teams to stay connected, providing access to necessary files, and allowing collaboration from anywhere. Today, I will provide an overview of the ICC Digital Codes Library, which offers complete codebook contents for free viewing on over 800 codes and standards, as well as premium access, which offers enhanced features for making your interactions with the codes more productive. Premium access is available through a paid subscription model across a growing number of compatible titles. In session two of our new webinar series, today we will be reviewing the following features. International Code Council's free access library and premium access features, bookmarks, notes, and reporting. So let's begin with our free view of codes. You can access the ICC Digital Codes Library from the direct URL codes.iccsafe.org. You have several options to find your codes. First listed will be Find Your Codes. You can browse through our selections or you can search for a particular title. Below Find Your Codes, you will have targeted suggestions by your location. We also have Find Codes by State. This is a linked map. Also, it's color-coded. The light green is statewide adoptions of one or more ICC codes. The dark green is states where ICC codes are adopted at the local level by jurisdiction. If you do not wish to use the map, below we have an alphabetical listing of the states, standards, and as well as countries. Just above the listing, we also have some quick links, so I'm going to go to iCodes. Let's go ahead and go into the 2021 International Mechanical Code. You will see that you have a smart index to the left, which will have your chapters, sections, and subsections linked. So let's go to a chapter. If you would like to view the screen in a full screen mode, on the icon next to your title. It removes that smart index so you'll have a full view. If you would like to release, click back on that icon. The free ICC digital library is a read-only format. However, you do have a search option Click on Control F for Find. Brings a window up to the top right. This is a limited browser search, and it will only search the chapter you are viewing at that time. We are now given the availability for you to create a favorites listing. Next to the title of your code, if you would like to make this a favorites, you'll click on the heart icon. It's going to prompt you to enter in your ICC online account information. If you do not have an account, you can go to our free registry, no purchase needed or ICC membership. If you currently have an online account, you have an option to sign in. So I'm going to sign in and show you where that listing is for your favorites.
To the left side of the page, you'll notice a navigation bar, and at the bottom, you'll have a favorites. If you would like to change the order of the codes listing, click on favorites. And you can click and drag to how you want to prioritize the listing. If you would like to remove a title, you can click on the heart icon. So this is our free view of codes. And now we're going to move on further into our features today for premium access. The first will be bookmarking. Premium access is the same landing page as the free view. If you have purchased a subscription, you will sign in and you'll go to My Dashboard. Your purchase subscription dashboard will come up at this time and you'll go to the navigation bar and go to My Library. You do have the option to filter what you would like to view by category, year, printing, or for a particular book. I'm going to go ahead and go into my IMC. And again, you'll see you have the Smart Index with the chapters, sections, and subsections. So let's go into a chapter. As you're going through the code content, you'll notice that you have a, a bar around your sections. If you would like to bookmark a particular section, go to the dotted square to the right, and you'll see that you have your bookmark. You can give a custom name to your bookmark, as well as a color. If you choose not to give it a custom name, you can save that bookmark, and it will just save as that section. So now you'll see that below, I have created a bookmark for this particular 901.2. Let's go ahead and create a couple of more. This time I'm going to leave it as the default. And I'll click on save. Let's like one more. So as you can see, you can name these however you wish. Now as you're going through the code, you will see that you have bookmarks listed to show you've bookmarked that section. Your bookmarks and your notes that we'll be going over in just a moment will all be gathered in one location. So bookmark and notes will be under my notes. You can filter again if you've tagged that particular bookmark and name. You can look for a particular category such as iCodes, or you can just search among your complete library titles. You will see the 2021 International Mechanical Code that we were just looking in, and it shows that I have six notes. Click on the down arrow, and the bookmarks will sh still show the indicator of a bookmark. You can click on the actual location, and it will take you directly to that bookmark. So let's move on to the second feature, which are notes. You can create notes that's in line to your code book text. So you have the ability to filter, export, and share notes with your team. So let's create a few examples.
Again, you'll notice I have the binding around my box and I'm going to choose the text in this section that I would like to add a note to. Once I have chosen my text, I will click on the small little pencil icon. It will bring my box up. Again, you can type. If you're working towards a collaboration with a team, it will be very important to give your notes a name. So there's an easy access. So if you're working in a team environment, uh, the tagging system on the notes is very important. This tag name can be customizable by you. You can give it a name, a project title, however you wish to name that tag, you can do that. You can choose a highlight color. So let's save the tag name. And now I'm going to save the note itself. Once we do that, you see the highlight was applied. The note was created and it's tagged to my section. You'll have the code text. And you'll see that was a very small note made by me, but there's your note that you added. We'll also give you the tag label. Out next to your note, you will have the capability to share. If you click on this icon, you can enter in an email address or multiple email addresses separating by commas. You can add a personal note and you can click submit. You can share notes only with other premium users that have this publication within their purchased library. Once you have created a note, you can edit that note or you can delete it. So let's show you a few more examples of what you can do with notes. I'm going to select the text again. Click on my icon. I have a PDF that I'm working on currently, so let's just take a little copy and paste some information here. You do have a toolbar at the top, so you can make um, an underscore or a strikeout. You have inline, so you have a toolbar that you can work with your notes just directly above within your modal. So I'm going to give this one a name. I'm just going to name it Project X. I'm going to stay with my color scheme here, I believe, and click Save for my tag and save on my note. So again, you'll see the highlight was applied. This is my code text that I tagged this note to, and here is my note. Again, at the bottom of your note, you're always going to see the tag name. So if you're going through a code and you're looking at a note, you will notice the project tag name. So let's create one more. Within notes, you can also add a graph, <clears throat> excuse me, a graphic or a video. I have a YouTube video for ICC pulled up, so I'm going to grab that URL, paste it. Save. So you'll see anytime someone pulls up that note, they will be able to even view a video within this. I'm going to give it a tag name again. Color coat. Save. 
Now I'm saving my note. So you will see even as you scroll through the code text that you can play that video straight within that text. Again, bookmarks and notes are going to be located in the same location under My Notes. So if you wish to look at them all in one location and not throughout the code, click on My Notes. Again, you have the filters to pull up any particular book that you would like to see the notes in, or I'm leaving that blank where my complete library has come up. And I was in the IMC, so let's look at the notes that I created there. So as you see, my bookmarks and my notes are listed here. Notes are indicated with our icon there, as well as the bookmarks are indicated with theirs. So notes are a great collaboration tool to use, sharing throughout other teams and other premium users. There's a few quick ways to find your notes. You can find them under My Notes. Or if you're within a codebook itself, listed in your Smart Index, you will have My Notes next to your code sections. And you'll notice that you have every linked section that you have a note tagged in or a bookmark. So you have an easy access within a code. You can go to My Notes. Or you also have your notes listed at the very front page of your codebook. So if you go to the title of the code you're looking at, you'll scroll down. You'll notice you also have another location. It's a quick access. These are linked as well. To go to your notes within that code. So we have several ways to get a quick access to those notes as well as your bookmarks. So on to the last feature we have, which is reporting. So under my notes, we were seeing all the notes and the bookmarks that I had created. If you would like to create a PDF report of your notes, you do have the option to select all notes or you also have the option, as you see here, to click and choose which ones you would like to put in a PDF report. Once you've chosen the ones that you would like to generate a report on, give it a title. You will then generate a PDF, and you will see all of my details, my notes, as well as the code text, will be listed in a PDF report. Download or print the code. Also under My Notes, you'll see under Bookmarks as well as Notes, you have the capability to edit or remove. So even if you do not have access to your computer or device and you need these notes within a report, there's an easy way to create that PDF report of your uh, notes and bookmarks. So this concludes session two of our webinar today.
Going to put some information on the screen for support. Also know that you do have live chat to the right as well as feedback. We encourage you to give us all the feedback. So here are some key contacts for assistance that you will have on premium access. Premium access at iccsafe.org for any type of feedback that you have for us. We have the 1888 number with our support team's extension. We have a support email at support at iccsafe.org. And again, we have listed here the direct URL for premium and the free site, which is codes.iccsafe.org. We thank you for your time and your interest in ICC. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.